Yeah, okay, uh, having a problem with my um, sensors here. It's, uh, I guess it's upside down, though. But uh, it's those are supposed to be changing as I as I tilt the thing, and they're stubbornly remaining at zero. So what I need to do is take it apart. So first, of course, take the case off, and uh, then you need to separate the front from the back. Now this one's a little cracked. I've, I've been, I've had this apart before, but uh, this part I believe stays with the front. So you want to get something between them. I use a finger, a uh, thumbnail, because. It's about the right thickness, and I'm too lazy to drag out a spudger. Um, don't do this a lot because your finger will get, r your thumb will get really sore. Of course, that's up to you. Maybe you like sore thumbs. Anyway, just start from from the top or the side. Don't start from the bottom because you could break this. You want this this uh, you want to leverage at that point. You want to use that as the fulcrum. The problem can be getting it started. This one's been open so often that this is cracked. That gives me an easy way in. So don't feel too bad if it's not that easy on yours. Oh, look, it's me. Hi. Anyway, so all you really need to do for these is this cable right here. You just, you well, no guarantees, of course, but you should be able to simply reseat that connector to get everything back. Now, um, you want to flip this up and then pull it out. So all you're trying to do is reseat it. So all you have to really do is pull it out, wiggle it a little bit, hopefully clean whatever may have gotten onto the contacts, or reestablish contact, and then flip it back again. And do the same on this one. This is really delicate stuff, so be gentle. Yeah, these these contacts little look a little iffy. Uh, you probably can't see the the reflection I'm looking at, but it's possible that's where my problem is. But as long as I can keep receding this, I'm probably okay. Okay, that should do it. And we'll power it up. And see if it did. Come on. It didn't actually disconnect the battery, so... Honestly, I think your regular instructions tell you to, but this one's this is such a, a simple operation; it's not a big deal. Yeah, 
And here we go. All the sensors are working again. Even if you can't see the numbers, I, I, I can't see the screen very well to see, but you can you can tell this is tilted. And the, uh, the things are moving around. The middle one's kind of a lime green. It doesn't seem to be showing up on the on the video, so. All right then, operation was a success. Now we all have to do is reassemble it. It's pretty much the reverse of the assembly, the disassembly. Uh, make sure you have this to line up here. I'm gonna I turn off the screen so I'm not doing stuff to it. So you want to get the the bottom settled settled into place first. That's pretty good, and then work your way up the sides until you're it's all in place. I don't know if that all happened in front of the camera. And there you go, one repaired Nexus 7 2013 back in the case. I hope that was of some help.